We're back to take you behind the business. So early in the show, we gave you a taste of the Martinsville Candy Kitchen and how they make their handmade candy canes for the Christmas season. Randall, what was it that was so special about this place? Yeah, you'll find out really quick once their doors open for the day. People come in not only to support the taste of a candy cane made from scratch, they support the tradition and the family that makes it happen. Take a look. There's something different about the candy made in this kitchen in Martinsville, Indiana. Nostalgic, perfect for celebrating a holiday, um, and delicious. Oh. Awesome. The Martinsville Candy Kitchen has been a staple in this community for 100 years. And every year around Christmas time, people are running in and out of their doors looking for these candy canes. Love these candy canes. There's something different about them. They definitely do not taste like the ones you get in the stores. A family owned and family run business giving customers that up close and personal feeling. Everything is handmade and handmade with love. I've been coming here for at least what, 10 years to pick up candy canes. Local folks that come in, they all say we're so happy that you kept it going. Dedication only scratches the surface. When they leave here, they all have full-time jobs. I had no idea what we were getting into. I guess it's a good feeling knowing you're supporting not just a town, but a family. A tradition passed down from hand to hand. The store has actually had six different owners. We've been in three different locations on the same block on Main Street in Martinsville. We couldn't do it without the community. I mean, that's what keeps us alive. We get people from all over the state. And when they turned 100, people showed them even more love. We literally had people out the door, lined up halfway down the block to come in here. They make deliveries anywhere from Indiana to places like Kuwait and Guam. But they say nothing beats the feeling of that hometown support. There's a lot of families that come back year after year. That they have become um, our regulars, and we love having them here. And this is their family tradition. And when Christmas comes around, everything kicks into overdrive. Crazy. Uh, it's real crazy. We get a little bit behind from time to time. It looked like they needed my help, so I had them give me a candy cane making crash course. To grade my uh, my candy cane making skills, I, I, you saw the effort out there. Yes, you did wonderful. I would have to give you a solid A minus. A mi what, <laughs> minus? Wait a minute. How would you grade my candy cane intern skills? Well, you caught on really quick, I will say that. You just missed that part about keeping the back straight. Ah, you got to keep the back straight. Ah. Sheesh. They sure are particular about their candy, but it's for a reason. Making people happy. To keep the tradition alive and to, to, for the little kids. For the long timers, it's a tradition. For the newcomers, it could be a perfect time to start one. It should be you know, something a fun tradition to do every year and come pick out candy for family or for them. It just felt really small town, Indiana, way to celebrate Christmas. After that last candy cane is made for Christmas, there's only one thing the Badger family has left to do until next year, rest. I'm going to go home and sleep for a few days. <laughs> yeah, she's super tired. Oh, yeah, <laughs> because I can see it. Every day she would leave, you know, her job, and they don't start going to after everybody's off work, and then they just make these candy canes through the night. She's leaving there four or five o'clock in the morning. All through the Christmas That's season. That's incredible. 30,000 30, that they make. 30,000. Through the whole year. Most of that is after October, obviously. Wow. And we just coming. got a special delivery. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That takes me back to childhood. This is amazing. Yeah, and it's thick. <laughs> it is. Oh, I love them. Yeah, so these can awesome. last, these last you for a while. Okay. And it's, you know, handmade and, you know, nothing better Quite than that. Quite a story that, behind this little yeah, candy. Yeah, that game. family feel. Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome? Yes. Yeah. That's good stuff.